We're Enumclaw from Tacoma, Washington, and we are here at uh, WNXP. P. All right. This song is called Save the Baby.
song that's called Blue Iris. <laughs>
Damn, is it Monday? Who would know, right? You guys have just been grinding. I, I, I can, t- I can <laughs> tell you. Okay, it is Monday, in fact, in the Sonic Cathedral. Mm. I'm Celia, here with a portion of Enum Claw, who just played in this space. It was loud as can be. I'm going to pack my uh, you know, earplugs tonight. That's probably been the experience for most of your crowds. But welcome to Nashville, guys. First time, you said, right? Yeah, yeah first, first time. time in Tennessee. Yeah, and you're playing a show tonight. Obviously, this will be later aired, but uh, it's a WNXP Presents show mm-hmm. at a really cool space called The Blue Room. At Third Man Records, you've been playing all over the place, though. Your tour continues all spring. You go yes. abroad. When are yeah. you going to sleep, though? I, I don't know. You don't need it? Probably do. But... <laughs> I'm feeling good energy, though, with I you was, all as a band. I was asleep like 20 minutes ago. I'm not even going to front. I just, this is true. I, I yelled at him to wake up. Definitely. Well, good morning yeah. to you. Good morning. Um, you all come from Tacoma, Washington, but you're named after Enumclaw. Washington. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So that's like a lot of pack Northwest pride if you're going to be like, this is our band and here we are and here's this word that you might not know, but it's from our home state. Why? Why did you call your band that? Why not really is the cool. question, you know? Okay, moving on. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Giggles. <laughs> Damn, we got two back there? <laughs> no, but for real, uh, I mean, obviously did, you grew up in Washington. Yeah. And lots of state pride, still there making music. Yeah, we're Washingtonians through and through. For sure. Do you feel touring the country and seeing other spots that there is a difference in the Pacific Northwest culturally, um, maybe musically from where you come? Oh, yeah. for sure. There's so many differences. Like talk about them. There's people so many more white people else. back home. I never realized that there was so many more like non-white people in the rest of America. Like a whole new world. Yeah. That was kind of a culture shock. Um, we dress different back home. Like the like Oregon, like, or I'd even say just like Portland to like. Washington Connect is like a whole different fashion scene that like really exists in a bubble. Um, yeah, I don't know. Musically, it's a little bit different. We have like a lot of rock bands that have done cool stuff come out of Washington, you know. Some of those inspirations to you starting the band? I mean, for sure. They're like some of the like biggest culturally dominant like rock bands in the history of rock and roll. So it's kind of hard to escape. Yeah. You're yeah. not like. We're too cool for these. No, I mean, I don't think so. Well, so what did you grow up listening to that has shaped the sound? Rap. Rap music, I don't... Yeah, rap music and like, I don't know, rock band or Guitar Hero 3. For sure. Yeah, so like songs you learn playing video games, you're like, maybe I'll try to play this. Not playing playing Guitar Hero 3, Legend of Rock on the PlayStation 2. That's it. That is (laughs) the (laughs) musical formation of Enum Claw. No, I kid you not. I probably didn't know what any bands were before I played that Yeah, game. I definitely did not know about rock music that. before that game. It's like, That's yeah. so cool. I mean, I like, you know, you know what like a Nirvana shirt is, but like, I didn't know what like, yeah, I had no clue. But then you like got the bug, you start, you're like, I'm going to play an instrument now. I'm I like, got the bug when I joined the band, honestly. I yeah. like, like was kind of trying to like be like a poser. Like I got like, had like a punk phase or some shit and like, ninth grade where i like thought I, I, it, was, though, it right? was really gross i really thought i like like the shit you see on like walmart t-shirts but nah i didn't know about cool bands until like whenever i joined the band yeah. or because i knew that share I, yeah knowledge of cool bands now pretty much yeah bands i wish i didn't listen to so many bands honestly really you're over it you're like i'm in a I'm band over but it. I'm i need so to like bands. have my like electronic phase already i need to hey it's waiting for you yeah i need to pivot i can see you guys shaping the sound into something even more electronic you were getting kind of like droney and weird for a minute yeah. just add some sense okay but uh save the baby name of your record came out in the fall yes it did 
who's who's the baby or what's the baby? Is the baby a concept or is this a baby that needs saving like an infant child? The baby is, it can be any of us, you know? What are we being saved from? Yourself, I don't know. What do you need to be saved from? Why did I ask? I wasn't ready. I mean, it's like kind of up for interpretation, you know? Yeah. You know, it's whatever you want to make it. (laughs) Well, we'll muse on that. Okay, so making this full-length record, you guys uh, able to write even though you're touring so aggressively? What What's the creative process like for those of you in this band, bouncing ideas off each other and then deciding, okay, we're going to record this? He brings us a guitar song he made, and if it sounds fire, we're like, that's good. And then Pretty we, much, we yeah. jam on it. Was this an up down vote? Pretty much, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we like, not, I refuse yeah. to play along to this because it's garbage. You're like, okay, next. That <laughs> happened honestly, like not that long ago at practice, and it was like a whole debacle. Or we'll play along to it, and it's like, damn, this is mid, and just forget about or it. Or sometimes, yeah, like you think it sounds cool, and then it just does. Usually, like sometimes it's not a like veto, but sometimes it's like we'll play it once, and then it never gets brought up. And then you kind of just know, like, that one's going to like, <laughs> That was a non-answer the was the answer? Yeah. Like, nah. Who knows, though? Those could come back around. You could do, like, a B-Sides record in 10 yeah, years. Yeah, one of our, and... uh, one of the guitar parts in, like, our song Jimmy Neutron is, like, a rendition of, like, one of our first songs we ever had as a band. So you oh. never know what might make its way back around. Fragments get picked back up off the floor. Yeah. Cool. Well, we've heard of the Pacific Northwest freeze, but I'm not feeling that vibe from you guys. Somebody had a tweet yesterday that said people who talk about the Seattle freeze never stop and realize they are insufferable. And like, I don't know, people back home are pretty passive aggressive, but people back home also or the people who move to Seattle suck. Like literally like my least favorite kind of people, like a 25 year old who like is from like you heard it here northern california who decides to move to seattle the worst you know we have a bit of a california problem here too but it's all it's all good if people are making music and they're like enjoying music and feeding into the creative community right that's not what's happening then (laughs) folks are just bozos that's what it is yeah they're like npcs but well thank you for making good music where you live where you're from taking it around the world Good luck on tour. And then we'll have you back next time you're here with all those fragments that have made their way back into new songs. We love it. I'm excited. Hell yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. And we're Turnstile from Baltimore, 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 Maryland. Maryland, And it's a holiday.